they took three groups of people and put them on a basketball court and they just had them do free throws and saw how many points they scored. And what they did at the end is they went to group A, B, and C and gave them different instructions. They said to group A, for the next 30 days, I want you to practice for an hour a day. Go on the court and practice those free throws. They said to group B, I don't want you to go out on the court, but I still want you to practice every single day, but without touching a wall. I just want you to practice in your mind. See yourself, visualize yourself successfully growing free throws. And they went to group C and said, we don't want you to practice at all. For the next 30 days, don't even think about basketball, don't touch a basketball. They followed up 30 days later and they saw surprising results. Group A, who practice each day for an hour a day on the court, they improved 24%, right? Because practice makes progress. Practice makes progress. Group C, which was the group that didn't touch a basketball, and they didn't even think about basketball, there was no progress. No practice, no progress. What was striking, though, was Group B. Those individuals that didn't go on the court, they didn't put on their sneakers and throw the ball, they just practiced successfully in their mind, they improved 23%. Just 1% less than the people that actually went on the court to practice. I mean, this is evidence that your mind is powerful. You'll find that athletes, Roger Bannister, they would visualize themselves having success. And so you'll find the great athletes, they don't just do physical training, they mentally train themselves to see the results in advance. So in this lesson, what I want you to do is practice the art of visualization. I want you to imagine the perfect day. What would a limitless day be like for you from the moment you get up to when you go to bed? Because if you could see it here, you could create it out here. Because what you vividly imagine, you're rehearsing. One of the challenges is a lot of people use their visualization to get results they don't want in life. And by visualizing it over and over again, they're actually preparing and rehearsing for failure, visualizing all the things that could go wrong, all the things they're fearing, and then their attention goes there, and they're mentally rehearsing, failing on stage, or failing on that exam, or failing when they're going to meet that person on that date, and they're practicing in their mind. Here is your lesson. As you're going through and constructing your limitless day, you're rehearsing that, and your attention goes there. Remember that your feelings are the language of your body, and that your thoughts are the language of your mind. My goal for you to become limitless is to imagine your perfect day, your perfect moments. I want you to imagine it, visualize it, see it, feel it, believe in it, and then work daily for it.